Welcome back, friends. It is another day for, well, mostly logging. We are going to be a, doing a tiny bit of farming because I want to make sure we get our cedar going, and I do still have the rock picker going. But we have some new toys. I already dropped one off back at the logging camp. And the other one here, well, we got the really, really big one. Just kind of because, I guess. So we do have a couple of 960s. And these 960s were a special request by Add the Gamer 7132. So these are for you. I got two of them. I got the big one with the dangly harvester. If I can get it over the. There we go. And I've got the smaller one already down at the logging site with the fixed harvester. So that way I can kind of play with both of them. And I gotta watch my speed here because even though I didn't have it on camera, when I took the smaller one down, I kind of flipped the trailer a little bit because I was going too fast. Um, so yeah, we, we gotta be a little bit careful. I did have to actually buy another trailer too. So I went ahead and grabbed the Landall trailer so that I could get these down here because it was, it was not going to work on any of the trailers I had. Taking the Volvo excavator down was a little bit sus when I did it because it really wasn't big enough. It didn't quite fit on there. We're going to get this guy going on seeding this field in grass. Hopefully. Uh, you're not blocked. Oh, that suddenly... That's interesting. I brought it over here. I guess maybe with it down, it doesn't have enough power? That's right. We'll grab a different tractor real quick and hook it up with a different tractor. I was kind of worried about that because, I mean, this this case, even though being the bigger Steiger setup, does not have a ton of power behind it. I don't remember exactly how much, but it is a little bit lacking for that size of equipment. So we'll just drop that right here and we will grab our John Deere. Oh, I thought I hit start. Come on. There we go. All right, we'll get this over and get this going. I'll tell you, I'm really kind of excited to play today. I haven't actually played really much of anything in a few days. I, I did a few, uh, a few runs on American Trucking Simulator, but really not much. That was just kind of like at the end of the night. I've been a little bit busy with trying to get some of the other videos out and my thoughts on the way FS25 is looking and such. There we go. That's going. So, when it came time to needing to relax here, I just, I really wanted to play some FS22. And I, I have one small farm going that's not on a video, not on camera, but really, I just kind of wanted to get back to this. So, we're going to do some logging on here. Now... I might want to take these across the river here. Um, really, the plan was to knock all this stuff out first and then head across, but I'm probably not going to be cutting any of this up. I'm probably just going to chop all these trees down in full and drag them over. I don't think I showed this off. You know, maybe we'll we'll do a couple just knocked down and dragged over to see if my my little path here works. I don't think I've actually shown this in any of the videos yet. I threw up a bunch of concrete barriers so that I can try and funnel all of our trees in when we skid them over with the uh, uh, the winter wolf over there. So let's just. Cut a couple down real fast so that I can see if this works for me or if I need to just kind of abandon skidding the logs over and, you know, take them and cut them up and drive them in like it really should be happening. 
but we're gonna find out here. And that should be enough space for me to still get a trailer through there for all of my logs on the other side that I cut up, but I really want to make sure that this actually works first. Uh, how high are we? We're gonna go a little bit higher there. Let's maybe grab like three here. I'm not 100% sure weight-wise with that Winter Wolf handles. I didn't really do a ton of them with skidding on that, just kind of because I was trying to load the trailer and stuff the last time with them. Because that would have been not necessarily easier, but at least a little bit more of the way I normally do logging. You know what? We'll do four. We're going to do four. Maybe. Maybe. Come on, you can you can cut it. Should I turn that off? No, that's still running. Oh, now I turned the whole thing off. It's running. And not cutting. Come on. Cut. 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 Anywhere? Really? Fine, forget you. You stand to see another day. And let's let's turn off the skid steer. We don't need to keep the skid steer running. Alright, let's grab the winter wolf and hopefully I can move those around without getting stuck on the stumps because I don't really feel like grinding those stumps out first. I should get a plow for the Winter Wolf. I should get the plow and stick it on the front, and then I can push stuff around a little bit with it instead of just hauling. I'm not going to do that right now, though, because I'm not going to be running that this much right now. I just want to knock down or drag up those couple of trees just to make sure that my little funnel here works. All right, shoo, let's go to our trees. And I am gonna start back here and then I'll kind of drive up near the other one. Use the big winch. Have to maybe drive this way a little bit. Woo! That went faster than I expected it to. Alright, connect you to there. And I might not be able to grab those that other tree because it's on this side of the Oh there we go. There we go, there we go. Alright, so if I just kinda try and Yeah. That's even closer than I need, but that's okay, because I really want to have those connected as close as I can for this first run through our little funnel. Okay. So I'm going to try and spin this way so that I can get that. Oh, come on. All right. I know I can get this flipped. I don't know if I can do it with the winch still connected. Come on. Or maybe I'll just grab my excavator there and flip it back up. Oh, come on. Alright, this is one of the times where being incredibly unrealistic in here is great because I did not just destroy my truck by flipping it over. Alright, we're getting the excavator. We'll grab the Volvo real quick and flip it back up and maybe push that log out of the way a little bit. because I don't want to keep messing around with trying to flip it on its own when I can just, you know, come over and do that. That makes much, much more sense to me. 
Come on, let me drive. All right. There we go. The other kind of random thing I've been thinking about, and I'm not sure yet. I probably am going to be getting FS25. It's not. Well, I'm not sure about. It. I almost definitely will end up getting FS25. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm getting it on PC or on Xbox. I do kind of prefer playing on Xbox in general, and I really don't have a good reason why, other than it does kind of make things easier when I'm editing on editing and recording on PC and stuff to be able to kind of just pop back and forth between the two while the Xbox is running instead of switching screens. Well, that worked. Cool. All right. Um, what I was getting at before I distracted and forgot myself. Um, I do that a lot, don't I? Anyways, what, I, what I've been starting to be, if I get it on Xbox... Because I was starting to think about it for FS22, but with them doing the new game, I don't want to yet in case they change any controls. I'm thinking about building a button box setup with a joystick that'll work on Xbox. Um, it wouldn't be PS4, it would just be Xbox, simply because of the method I'm going to be doing. There might be a similar way it could get done on Xbox, but with just, or on PS4, PS5, sorry, wow. I don't know what I'm thinking of PS4. Um, but as of right now, it would just be getting put on Xbox. So if that's something that interests you, if you think you would like to see, I might want one of the flatter bridges. If you would want to see a FS2225 Xbox button box, let me know. Um, like I said, I'm really not sure yet if I'll do it or not, because if I don't, if I get it on PC, there's not really a reason then for me to do it on Xbox, you know? I mean, I don't want to just kind of make it for FS25, and I wouldn't necessarily be able to use it on PC. Uh, I'm going to put two right next to each other here. And I may end up getting rid of these bridges later on. But I don't know if the excavators will actually be able to drive over one only. So we're going to do a double bridge right there. It'll also make it a little bit easier to drive the truck back and forth as I load up the truck, because we're going to have to load the truck up. Let's undo all of our straps here. That's weird that I'm... Sounds like that's moving while I'm unstrapping things. Uh, I might have to unstrap from the cab. Yep, we're going to have to get in the cab and unstrap it. Here we go. What the heck is supposed to be moving? That's gonna drive me nuts. All right. Now this one does control. Ooh, I forgot to. Well, you know what? That thing is so low. I can probably just drive off it. I forgot to detach the trailer, but. Uh, if I don't get myself stuck. Yeah, there we go. Not something you should really do, but we're going to do it anyway. Alright, I am going to turn my help window back on because I haven't played around with these much. I did actually kind of play with these a little bit. Why are you getting stuck all of a sudden? Oh, it is... That's interesting. Cruise control does not work. 
Oh well. It's still a really, really cool mod. Um, where was my bridges? They're there. I gotta sneak through here. We'll get to the other side. I'm gonna start cutting them down over there. The reason I'm gonna do it this way is everything close to here, I should be able to just skid over in full to save some time. Um, I don't really want to try dragging the logs across the river. I maybe could with doing the double bridge here like this, but it's... It seems a little sketchy to me to do that. I, I could have done a single bridge. I would have had the space. All right. Let's get this giant, giant puppy. This is a little ridiculous. I might be able to cut him and drag him to the other side. With just undoing it. I, I might have to try that. We're going to do six meters. Uh, you know, I could definitely do longer, because I could just do the whole length of the trailer, couldn't I? I mean, I do have the big grapple I can grab. We're, we're going to do longer. Do I want 15? I don't think I want 15. I think we're going to do 12. Ah, eh, screw it. We'll do 15, at least for this first group here. Um... All right, let's do the first. Heck, I could have maybe even stayed on the other side and just reached across the river. Uh, I might try that here real quick. I just want to see if we can. All right, you're fully extended. Ah, uh, that's the furthest we can go, isn't it? And I'm stuck? Oh, that's hitting the ground. That's not why I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Okay, maybe I just kind of got stuck on the bridge in that spot. There we go. Alright, well, we'll go back over to this first one that I was going to go after. And bump into it because I can't see how close I am and I'm not used to using this big of an arm. Maybe I should have just stuck with one of the smaller arms. Ooh, that's... Not a very helpful view for right now. All right. Now I need to... Do about like so. Cut. Uh... You know what, I might grab... We might try doing it right into the... Uh, you know what, we're not going to try doing it right into the truck again. I did have another tip on that last video, too, for logging of... Using one of the excavators and driving back and turning it, you should be able to get into the truck a little bit easier to get it a little bit straighter. And... I will probably end up trying it, but with this being as big of an arm as it is... I think that, uh, we're just gonna cut some logs up here and not try to get too fancy with it yet, because I haven't used this one before, and this one doesn't have the same simple controls like the Volvos do. If that is the simple controls, I could be kind of quoting that wrong. And I'm stuck again. Stuck on the tree. Other way. There we go. Nope. Not just stuck on the tree. Huh. Oh, there we go.
Um, yeah, this doesn't have the same simple controls. And I'm not really used to these controls as much. I like the simple controls. I'm not going to lie. Having to control each arm independently, yes, I know, is way, way more realistic. And if all of them had to be like that, I would get used to it and I'd be completely fine. But I have not gotten used to it. And so I am not completely fine with trying to do it that way. Um, it's kind of just the way I normally play versus what I got to do with this equipment. And, you know, it's fine. I've used other stuff with these control setups. It's not that I dislike it or anything. It's just not what I'm used to. And I'm definitely not used to running this big of an arm. Ooh. And bumping into the trees because of it. Get that a little bit higher. There we go. Hey, I should be able to get that right onto that stack. That'll be perfect. Or close to that stack right there. There we go. Should have probably had that go a little bit lower before I cut it, but oh well. I am going to kind of move this guy out of the way because I do want to try my other one too. So the smaller one I got the fixed header on. This obviously has the dangly harvester head. Um, I usually on the excavators actually kind of prefer having a dangle. There was another uh, Lee powered excavator smaller one mod that had a fixed one that as soon as I went to try using the harvester head on it with it being fixed, it looked like you couldn't rotate the head at all um, as far as like the up and down axis on it went. And I could be wrong. Maybe I just wasn't doing something right with it. I didn't, I didn't mess a ton with it. This one you can. So since I know I didn't describe it very well, I meant being able to do this right here on it. The other harvester mod, which I really don't remember which one it was, you couldn't actually pivot the head like this at all. So you were kind of stuck because it was doing the arm controls the same way. You couldn't move your arm straight up and down like you can. And it basically kind of got to the point where either I couldn't cut a tree or like you had to be in a very, very specific position to the tree to cut it. Uh, cruise control does not work on... Nope, cruise control is working on this one. Okay, cool. This is the slightly smaller. This is the 960 SME. The other one there that I was using was the 960 Demolition, and that did have the absolute biggest arm you could get on it. Partly because since I already do have the log grapple for cranes from this pack... Um, I wanted to make sure that if I wanted to do some very large moving stuff around, loading stuff up, I could. I might also end up getting the big mobile crane because I have used that and I do like it. And with the weight pack out on it now, I think that should take care of some of the issues I had found before. This almost seems to have some trouble moving too. Yeah, I'm down to like three miles an hour again, and we're on cruise control. I'm not touching my speed controls at all. I don't know if I like or dislike that. The Volvo would just be driving straight through. All right, cruise control. Bumped. And you know what? It doesn't even look like it's an issue necessarily with the way it's driving on the ground texture. It looks like for some reason cruise control might not be working right on these. 
it's not the end of the world by any means for these these excavators, but on sm slower moving equipment like this, I really like having. Uh, let's go back to 15 here. I really like having the ability to do cruise control because then I can just kind of slap it on and I only need to worry about directing wherever we're going if we're going a little ways. I suppose I could have brought these over with the truck. There we go. I am... Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! All right, um, add the gamer 7132. Good call. I did not realize that the fixed on this meant that you could rotate it after you cut. Uh, uh yeah, we're, we're going to be using an excavator to cut now, I think. Whether it's this or if I, for some reason, end up not liking these, I can still switch to the Volvo. Because... Yeah, I can definitely bring the truck over now, and it'll be real easy to get him to load into the truck. Uh, let's... I don't need to switch through all the things. Let's pop into our truck and bring it over. Where is it? Not that one. That one. That is fantastic. Now that we're going to have that down, I'm going to have to look at... So I've got the HW80 trailer still down there, and yes, they are very, very finicky on how they get loaded. These two can get converted, if I believe, to be logging trailers too. And... I mean, I can always buy more logging trailers. I kind of want to set up a train... The only thing is I would have to probably disconnect and reconnect every time. Uh, let's just park it somewhere we're going to have a decent amount of space. Like if I come right over this way. Uh, you know, I'm going to cut one more with the demolition. Just to make sure that one doesn't spin too. I don't think that head can move once you make your cut. But I don't think I really tried it. I want to back up and get this small tree right here just because it's... or it gets stuck. I'm wondering if I'm running into collision issues. So this, the arm technically detaches, or was I just hitting the ground right there? Nope. Oh, I'm hitting a stump. Ah! Alright. No, I was, I was wondering if I was running into any sort of collision issues, because the arm detaches and it attaches as a separate piece. Come on. Maybe I should just go for a different tree. I'm so close, I'm either hanging up on the tree or hanging up on that stump. There we go. There we go. Now we're free. I drop this down a little bit. No, I cannot spin that at all. Okay. So that is just for that fixed harvester header. And I'm not moving again. Was I just catching the corner of that stump? Yeah, I was catching the corner of that stump. I truly don't know harvesters that well in real life. I don't know if this is a matter of that's how they really work if you have a fixed header versus the dangle. I don't think the Volvo... I think the fixed header that you can get on the Volvo, I think, doesn't 
buck. Is that one only a, uh, 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 cutting one? I don't know. I might have to look into that a little bit just to figure it out. Okay, that's pretty close to being straight. You do still get a little bit of rotation out of the arm. Too low. Now I have to actually get to our trailer here. Uh, I think with this being 15 meters, I have to be backed off a little bit too. I think this is more like a 12 to 14 meter trailer from what I remember from the last time we were trying this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can turn it while it's cutting. Oh, whoops. Ooh, whoops. Well, if I can do a better job, I can do it. But honestly, that's kind of okay because it's still on the trailer. I might need to do this with a different trailer. I might need to uh, switch one of those 53-foot drop decks over or something just so that I've got a flatter platform to work on. Or I just need to make sure I'm actually picking the trees up much higher. I suppose I could also... drive. You know what? I think it's going to cut faster than I could drive backwards. I was going to say I could drive backwards the whole time. We're going to do this, though. We're going to rotate that around. I'm going to rotate myself around a little bit. And I was... You know what? That's what I want to do. I want to rotate my tracks this way. Alright, so... Yes, I do definitely need to be a little bit backed up. Excuse me, one second. All right, I will have to edit that little blurb out. Let's try and get this onto our truck here. Should be centered. I will keep both buttons pressed once I start cutting so I can move it as needed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! That was totally my fault there. I uh, should have been looking at it from this side. We're, we're going to have to get that log fixed. Uh, I wonder if I can just use the harvester head to grab it and put it back up. Sometimes that can get a little dicey. Okay. Got it. We've got it. Alright, that was not done very neatly at all, but you know what? It worked. It worked beautifully. 
Well, not really beautifully. It worked kind of ugly, but that's all my fault. I am not going to lie. All right. Kind of wondering if I should try out running this harvester head with the Volvo. I might have more success. I might, since I haven't used this. Although, at the same point, I'm not going to get better using this harvester. Or excavator. Not harvester, excavator. I won't get better at it unless I use it. Which is why I kind of hate sometimes just doing things that'll make it easier in the short term. I'd rather get a little bit more practice using something that I'm not so good at using. And I'm glad I gave myself a bunch of space because we are just whipping this tree around. Woo! Man, look at that. It stays attached perfectly. This on... Uh, this really might become my, my preferred harvesting method here. You know, the regular harvesters, if you bounce them around too much, if you move around too much with them, you kind of break that connection off and you can't really fix it. Alright, we're right there. That should be good. I'm going to stay on this side. I hit that problem again. I did not go up high enough. Let's come out like this way here. And get you on there. So I've got to be really high in order for it to not bottom out. video is already getting long. A little bit long. Longer than I would like it to be, at least. Well, we'll see. Maybe some of the rest of my logging here will end up just being a, a time lapse. I might end up still skidding stuff over here. If I can control my excavator. There we go. Because I'm starting to wonder if I should just set up a separate little logging area. I would have to kind of make a... Well, I wouldn't really need to build anything, I suppose, huh? I was going to say, if I build something, I'm going to have to build a bunch. Like, if I did one of, like, the loading platforms or something, I would need to keep taking it down and moving and building another one. Which won't matter if I turn all this into the fields anyway. But if I don't turn it into fields, I'm going to have a bunch of, like, just messed up ground patches that have no grass. There we go. A little bit too far out. Bring you up. Nope, don't want to do that. Come on, where's my control that I'm looking for? No. Laws. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Alright, let's... Lift you up a good bit. Even though you would definitely not want to do this in real life. There we go. At least I don't think you would. Oh, boy. Woo!
Oops. Oh well. You know what? I should be able to just pick that piece up and move it in a little bit. If I can get up there. There we go. Nope, you're slightly too heavy. Okay. You know, I suppose after this first layer of logs, now I shouldn't have an issue with any of them getting stuck, though. Now they should be able to just slide right on. Yeah, if I just set up a little area and I keep this here to pick them up after I've cut them and skidded them over here. Now, at the same point, though, if I do it that way, that might get rid of my efficiency gain. Because then I still have to cut the tree down, skid the tree over, and then I'm bucking the tree smaller. I don't know that that would be any faster than me actually just... You know, cutting the tree up on spot and then loading it up. I got a stump right in front of me. There we go. Yeah, I feel like at that point I'd be better off just... ...bucking the trees where I want them and then picking them up with the front loader. Or an excavator and, uh, filling up my trailer. This way definitely works. Okay. This one should go in. I really wish this was on, or that I had a joystick right now for this setup. Whatever. I was going to say on PC with a joystick, but... Okay, see, that was a little bit too close. I'm going to have to bump that log back a little bit. Because the, uh, the controls here using an analog stick on a controller is just... It's a little touchy. Yee. Back up a little bit here, just kind of do that. And dropped it in. Okay. I might as well do it with this little guy just because I had to do it already. Oh, come on. I need to go up. Or we'll just, you know, knock it out of the, the trailer. <laughs> problems, problems. Gotcha. Did not get it. I'm about ready just to cut a hunk off of it and have it be small enough to carry. Because, yeah, we're going to do that. Because it doesn't need to be the length that it is. It's going to go into the sawmill. So it doesn't matter what length it is. Boom. Then I can just pick it up and plop it in. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. Much, much more sense. There we go. Bring our harvester pet back up and spin it around. And why am I getting stuck? Yeah, why am I getting stuck? I feel like I should maybe look into this model a little bit, see if there is any sort of issue. Let's see, this was made by Kenny456, and he does a really good job out of the stuff I've seen from him. I haven't looked at all of his mods. Oh. 
There is a lot that comes with this mod, though. All right, let's get closer to the thing and not have the camera getting stuck by the truck. There we go. So, I mean, with the amount that comes with the mod, I... I definitely wouldn't fault if somewhere in the whole line of things an issue popped up. And I'm definitely not saying that would even be the fault of the mod maker. Because I know sometimes once stuff goes to giants and gets looked at and reworked and looked at and reworked, things can pop up that weren't known or weren't an issue. Oh, that's my that. Come on, where is my, there we go. Okay, that should be about right, and that should be just about perfect. Yeah, there we go. Now, that just got stuck on those small ones. Darn. Alright. Uh, that one small one is still sticking up funny. I just want to make sure. There we go. That sits down so everything else can just slide over top of our majorly illegally overloaded trailer. I'm pretty sure this trailer can handle it, though, so it's okay. You know, I suppose I could always use the crane on the truck, too, that I kind of forgot about with moving some of those logs around or sliding them further in. That would actually have been pretty easy. You know, I bet I could also just kind of use the back of this excavator like a, a little bit of a plow here. There you go. We're not going to be able to do it with those bottom ones that are stuck on the bottom of our whatever those are, log bunks, supports, rails, whatever they are actually called. I do wish this moved a little bit faster. A little bit faster would be really, really nice. But I guess it's just kind of a matter of clear one area out, move the truck, rinse and repeat. I don't know. With this and with a few other mods, I might need to do another one of the top 10 or 10 best or whatever I was calling it, the logging videos where I was showing off mods because I will say I really am really, really liking this mod. Um, there's also a couple others that I have found that I really, really like. Nope, pick you up. You're stuck on there now. That I haven't really talked about. Some I haven't even used. In, in videos, I should say. Haven't used in videos. I've used them. That's how I know I like them. Here we go. That's how it's supposed to be loading in, or cutting in. Ooh, that's not. Uh, 
Uh, I'm probably only going to do a few more trees here because the very steep angle that those are getting to and with how far back those are sticking out. I should try loading from the cab back. Uh, reality really, really wouldn't do that. Maybe if it was like an empty trailer. Maybe, but probably not. But we are definitely not playing realistically on this one anyway. Come on. You're going up down. You're going left right. Where is... Here are my jaws and my rotation. There we go. I keep forgetting where that control is. Because if I did it from the cab and I had... The log lined up right at the rack. We're going to try that. If it's lined up right at the rack, it should just drop in right at the edge of the trailer here, right? So let's try it that way. Definitely not a realistic way of doing things, but I mean... How realistic is a one-man logging operation like this? And yeah, if you do this or know of people that do one-man logging, running heavy machinery like this, tell me. I, I could completely be wrong. Um, anytime I have seen or heard logging stuff, though, if you're running a big set up a big operation like this, you're typically running a crew. Come on. Be straight. You need to be about there. Oh, you swung too far. Alright, let's go right there. Let's try a cut. Fingers crossed. Almost perfect. Ooh, that pushed that way too far. I mean, it did land pretty much where I wanted it, though. Ooh, but all the weight on that back end now is making it want to drop. Alright, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take this load. Because I don't like the thought or the risk of that one falling out and yes I could strap them all down I mean I probably should have done that to begin with been strapping them all down but I don't like the way that's going now the big plus side of this trailer and I have used this and shown this off before um I don't remember the name of this mod if you really need to know ask me in the comments and I will look it up and throw it in but the big benefit is you can change... That's the wrong control. Uh, there we go. Select that. You can change the center of gravity on it. So... You increase your weight that shows on the side there. Until it moves. And then you kind of back off to where you have it not moving. So we're adding like four tons of downforce to that trailer. Which means that I shouldn't flip this trailer because it has extra weight pressing downward. Or lower weight center of gravity. Something like that. I don't remember exactly how it works. I just know it works pretty well. And I have had it recover from some pretty shaky things before. And this is where I kind of want to set up a trailer train. Because if I... Was that a donut in the cab? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, if I... Nope, come... Get to the right view, thank you. If I uh, set this trailer up behind some shakier ones... Because there is no no back hitch on this trailer. You can't have it in front. You can't have it in front and behind, but I can't have it behind. 
So if I run some that are more likely to tip, and then I have this on a dolly behind it, this should kind of help stabilize things out. If the truck isn't prone to tipping, and the very back trailer isn't prone to tipping, I don't think we should have an issue. Boom! But there we go. Thanks to a viewer, we have now successfully loaded a trailer from a harvester. Well, from an excavator. And I am in awe. Uh, I do have a couple of pallets that spawned out here while I didn't have stuff distributing. I, you know, it's all right. I will come through sometime and grab them to sell them or let me get that turned back on. Why aren't you? Oh, that's right. I need to turn them on here. Nope, that's distributing. You need to be selling. You need to be selling. Uh, I gotta double check that. I gotta turn them on there. Wow, I can't believe I forgot that. All right, so you need long and long. So I don't need my regular planks distributing. You need to be selling. Everything else needs to be selling. Because I don't have any productions right now that take standard planks. I should put something up. Or you know what, maybe I won't turn on my standard planks. I'll turn on that and the prefab walls because the walls are gonna sell the best and I know I'm gonna blow through all of that anyway. So why am I worried about my ones that are not gonna sell as high that I don't have productions for? That makes sense to me. If I'm not keeping up with the sawmill, I don't need to run all of the productions for the sawmill. You're going. You... Where did you go? My tractor vanished. Let's pop over here. Where did my tractor go? And my cedar. Is that no, that's a pup frame. I take a break from farming to do some logging and everything vanishes. All right, let's show the cedar on the map. The heck? You want, oh. oh. That makes no sense. What the heck did the worker do? I mean, I, I, I I'm not that surprised, and I shouldn't be that surprised. It hit the edge of the other field and kept going because it was working the big field. All right, our stone picker isn't moving either. Oh, boy. It should have had no problem getting around the little tree here. I need to just take that tree down. I like having that tree there, which is why I haven't taken it down. I do kind of like it. I like that we've got one tree right in the middle of fields and the little industrial complex I've built. But if it's going to get in the way like this to where it won't work the field at all in this whole section, and that's like two passes that it missed. And now I'm driving all over. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Come on. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Come on. I missed at least one little strip right there. I'm not super worried about it. I should go back and fix it, but since our grass here is basically gonna be a cover crop, I'm really not gonna worry about it. Which 
just aim for the middle of this. I might even leave that one little patch that I missed there that will probably annoy the heck out of me. I'm going to be missing some right here, too. Alright, I'll come back through because that's a lot that I'm missing now. I wasn't going quite straight, was I? Nope, nope, I wasn't. That's why it is really exciting that FS25 is going to have a GPS-based game. Because, I mean, the struggle is real on console. Stuff doesn't want to drive straight, and it's really, really tough sometimes telling if it is straight. Because it's the tiniest thing, and I was not watching... Well, I don't have the map up, so I wasn't watching the compass. Because you can use your compass down there to tell you if you're straight, but as I watch the comp... And now it's going to work. See, there we go. We start getting these little variations off of the course you're driving on. You've got to do little teeny tiny corrections, and if you're trying to use an analog stick that's not the easiest thing in the world to do. You're kind of like just tapping the stick, just the teeniest, tiniest bit. We're tapping it and then tapping it back. If you play on console or with a controller, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm not saying that driving with WASD keys and a mouse is that much easier either. I mean, really, Wheel is the absolute king of the kingdom on FS22, I think. That's why I did get my wheel set up. I just don't have it hooked up to my Xbox right now. It's actually sitting next to me. I should have put it on, but I figured if I'm doing logging, I don't need the wheel. I'd be using the controller anyways for the majority of it. All right, let's get this back corner and edge. And then I should be able to tell it to finish up the two swipes on this field. And I can't do the big field yet because the stone picker is still going, which I have to see why it stopped. It shouldn't be full. It still has the worker in it, too, which is strange. All right, spin. And hopefully I don't get myself stuck here. There we go. Spin. I also, I've been struggling to find it again. Somewhere I saw a screenshot that said it was from SF20, FS25 that looked like you could actually overseed. So if you did something like this, it did not plop up uh, the way it should. But it would have crops in between, you know, if you've seen a, an actual field that was seeded incorrectly. Um, I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's wrong. I don't know if it was a fake video or if I'm imagining it, to be honest with you, because I have not been able to find the photo again. <clears throat> but I definitely saw a screenshot of a field. <clears throat> Excuse me. I definitely saw a screenshot of a field that was stuck. You are full and you are almost out of gas. And I show no stones. It looks empty. I hope this doesn't break this again. I've had so much trouble trying to get this field done with the stone picker that I had to restart down at the bottom even though I was going up and down on it. Uh, you know what, this one is going to go to our lime production. Because gold, I think, is still filled and is not not uh, doing too great. So let's take this to lime production. I just haven't been getting enough methane over there. And speaking of methane production, I think I am all out of... Yep, you guys are out of silage. Uh, I got a lot of cakes built up again. I should double check our sale prices. 
Uh, I stopped auto selling because after I put down the sell everything, it was just going to kind of screw that up. No, not you. I want to go to this one. Uh, too close. There. Uh, yeah, I didn't want it to auto sell at a significantly reduced price since if it's taking the average, we had two low ones now with the sell everything. Ooh, you're filled up. I'm going to need to sell those. Eh, prices start. Oh, price is going back up tomorrow. We're not going to sell it today then. Uh, I will need to fill up our van though. Price is starting to drop though, or was because I was at like 96 before, 9600. <clears throat> Refill the van. Alright, are you emptied? Yes, you are emptied. Now I need me some gas. Right over here. There we go, refuel. And we are filled on gas. Uh, I'm not gonna bother repairing our stone picker. <laughs> It is, it is damaged beyond belief right now. <clears throat> and that's got to get redone. Yeah, this stone picker is, is definitely where all of my wear is coming from. Because the tractor's in okay shape. And it might impact the amount of stone I pick up. But it's not like I'm exactly needy for stone. Let's see if this runs. What I've been having happen every time I try and run it lately is I'll start it here and then it's going to loop around and start coming this way that's already finished. So... Yeah. You know, as a thought on that one, I really hope that once on FS25 with the GPS... I really hope that if you restart in the middle, it starts where you're supposed to and doesn't try to restart at the beginning again. Because if you fill something up, that gets really, really frustrating really quickly. Because I might have to finish off that field by hand. And if I do, I do. I'll just, you know, throw the wheel on and I will throw some music or some YouTube videos or something and... It might actually end up being really relaxing for me, too. But... Come on, come on. Let's get right in the middle. Don't miss any spots. There we go. But it's just annoying that I can't have the worker do it, and that I've really kind of spent money on workers to go over empty spots multiple times now. Not that it's really that big of a cost either, but it's just, it's the principle, and it's the annoyance factor. Like, why can't it just work? Uh, we're gonna stop this up over on this side, if I can get this turned around enough without breaking anything. Cool. We're gonna get this up over on this side. Because I'm gonna have to do this back end first. Otherwise, I'm just going to be getting caught in the trees and the top and stuff like that. So, this can stay over here. And... Let's hop into the... No, oh, what did I just do? I hit the wrong button. I did not mean to stop you. Shoot. Now I really might have ended up breaking it. All right, let's spin this around. I just wanted to see if he was going to turn the correct way. All right, we'll get that going again. Hopefully that'll turn around the correct way once it gets to the other end. If not, oh, well, I might have to redo the field. Because like, as you can see, I originally started on one side, got through quite a bit, had to dump it. I was doing the sides, and it wasn't catching the fronts, and I maybe had to dump it. Maybe I started with the sides, and it got all confused. I, I don't remember exactly what happened, but it's um, 
it has not been working optimally, let's say. So we might have to fix that. I actually have some stones over here too, it looks like, don't I? Yeah, I got some stones over there because that wasn't our field when I uh, plowed over there and planted it. Let me plow a little bit and plant a little bit when it wasn't our field. Um, so I should probably fix that, but it, it, I'd have to tear up the grass that's there to pick up those few stones. So maybe we'll just leave stones and that little section wears on the equipment a little bit more. All right, so we now know the trick to loading the trailer directly, which is this guy. And I'm going to be using it quite a bit more when we log because that was definitely easier. Um, we'll see. I might end up skidding these over later. I might throw them onto a trailer. We'll, we'll see. Skidding might be easier because of how long they are. I could definitely just use the front loader to load them onto a trailer too, but eh, it doesn't matter that much. Um, but I mean, I think this is this is going to be it for this episode because this has already been longer than I really way longer than I meant to. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you everyone that has been commenting on videos, liking videos, sharing them, things like that, because I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I've had some really fun, interesting discussions with some people in comments, so keep at it. Um, yeah. Thank you. I'm really enjoying this community that we're starting to build. Uh, and, and I will say starting to build because I'm not that big of a content creator yet. I don't we we don't have that many subscribers on this channel. I don't get that many views, especially because like these these let's play videos really aren't getting a lot. You are turning the wrong way. That's the problem I keep running into. Let's try starting you here, see if maybe you go the right way. You probably won't, and you probably won't go the right way if I go to the other side. So, I'm probably going to be finishing this field by hand, which is fine. It's just, like I said, annoying that the worker can't do it. So, thank you all. Uh, I'm sorry I've been kind of blabbery this episode I might be cutting some of that out we'll see I've been trying to edit the episodes a little bit less just so that it's less work on me because now that I've recorded over an hour of video it'll take me probably two plus hours to edit it because I'm going to be going through piece by piece and going back and going back and stuff like that so I've been trying to do it a little bit less just to save time when I'm only getting a few hundred views on most of these videos so thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, because the other thing is I do get most of my views from non-subscribers. So if you have watched through this long, you should probably subscribe because you probably have had fun with me being a little bit goofy today and trying to load up our trailer and managing to load up our trailer with the excavator and our stone picker that has invisible stones in the back of it and workers that are going the wrong way and things like that. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day and happy gaming.